Let's go ahead and swing a right. And uh, go ahead and settle into kind of the second lane from the right. How long is this uh, circle? It's five miles, I believe. Oh, wow. And so this is map. So this works with the system. So this is map. So as you can see, you got a steering wheel icon that showed up on the cluster that wasn't there before. Oh, that was a, okay. So, that's so, a signal. Yep. So go ahead and set your set speed to like 55 once. Or if you want to, you can gauge Super Cruise first. That's okay. Um, so if the icon's available, it's going to be, you know, you can press the button to turn it on. Kind of give you a feel for it. Um, we'll start at 55 as an example. Um, so this is Super Cruise with trailering, right? Wow. So the goal is to make it feel really seamless. You, you know, again, the idea is, you know, um, make trailering less stressful, you know, and, and we really think this is a yeah, Because that helps also with the braking and everything else. Yep. And then if you're centered already, it's going to go straight to green. So green means hands off. Yeah. Um, so, oh, green in here or green in here? Green here, and then also the icon turns green. So if you press the button once, right, so you're blue, and then you went to oh. green. And then the only thing I'd say is if you if you push the knob oh, down, it'll change your set speed. So we'll do a couple different speeds. To, we're saying before. Yep, absolutely. Um, now, whenever you load a trailer, whether you're driving manually or in Super Cruise, a properly loaded trailer is the most important part, right? Yeah. Having a proper um, weight distribution, things like that is really important. Um, so go ahead and bump your set speed up to like 70 miles an hour as an example. And let's go ahead and do a lane change to the left. So go ahead and, you know, turn your turn signal on. Um, you're going to have to manually change over, right? So we don't have lane change on demand. So just check your blind spots near mirrors and you should be able to go to the left. So we went to blue. That means driver and control, you're steering. Okay. And then as you get but centered. the system is still out. Yes. But it, and then as you got centered, it went back to green. Yeah. So now you can take your hands back off the wheel, right? So if the steering wheel is green, you can, you're, you can take your hands off the wheel. Uh, did I have to turn the signal off? No, you that's just, done it. Uh, you know, it would have been, so, and we can do that. So, so move back to the right without a turn signal once. Right, so the operation is going to be the same. You're going to go green to blue oh, see, yeah. and back to green. The, the turn signal is just to follow the, the rules of the road, I guess I'll say. No, we didn't follow the no entry or the speed limit because it shows 25. <laughs> <laughs> the, the speed so limit like, sign is a map. We try to, ah. to uh, a fair obey point. most of the rules. A fair point. Yeah. No, no arguments from me. <laughs> so uh, if you want to go and go back to the left once as an example. Um, With or without? It doesn't matter. Uh, just to kind of experience, right? So that green to blue transition, right? That's the drivers required to execute that. When you do your other demo, you're going to get to experience the automatic Without, lane change yeah. where you're not going to have to touch the wheel or the turn signal at all. And this is just because of the load back there. Yeah. So with a trailer back there, we require a really clear view of the perception. I should say view, a clear perception of the, our environment. And the trailer can obviously block that. Yeah, exactly. So you're in green. You can take your hands off, right? Okay. Um, okay. You're, you're okay. You forget, yeah. Um, it's amazing how fast you get used to it, you know, using that baseline yeah, know. Of, of, of new things. So the system still has the cameras here, and so it's looking at me, and if I keep looking to you, it will turn off? So, the, yes. So we so have... Can we try? Uh, Not really. We, we encourage the driver to always be actively looking no, on I know, the but like that's one of the features, yes. right? Like Because yep. that's like the safety... We, we call it a driver training tool. Yeah. We want to train the driver that they need to always be paying attention to the road. Um, so there is timers associated with that, depending on how long you're looking away for versus how often you're looking on the road. Okay. Um, and, and the camera itself is actually down oh, here. Is right here. No, we, yeah. we do have emitters inside the steering wheel to illuminate um, in IR. Um, you know, so if it's nighttime, it can still the camera can still see it as an example. Um, so we talked about we kind of have these. You know, once we have a trailer detected, we also change our lateral and our longitudinal control. Okay. Um, so an example of the longitudinal control change is, are you familiar with curve speed control at all? Yeah, so as we drive through a curve in Super Cruise, we'll reduce the speed of the vehicle. Yeah. With a trailer, we're gonna reduce your speed sooner so the truck and trailer oh, okay. have come to a constant speed before the curvature, right? Um, so we're gonna exit the same place we got on here. Yep, so go ahead and just start slowing down a little bit. Um, and we're gonna exit basically just past that white thing. There's gonna yeah. be, you know, the, the same thing we came on in an off ramp there. And again, we just want to take that a little bit slow because there, there can be traffic going both ways and we want to be conscious of our, of our fellow drivers today. Or this one, right? Yes, yep. Right through the emergency exit, as you know, as we pointed out there. 